our first segment of tonight's forum is to introduce and welcome with a warm San Francisco welcome our new San Francisco Police Chief, uh, Mr. George Gascon. Mr. Gascon. Hey. I actually asked the chief to tell us a little bit about what he's uh, doing to uh, solve uh, drug-related crimes, particularly in the Tenderloin area, and so I'll let the chief talk to you first. Well, I have to say this is the first time that uh, I feel like a DJ here. <laughs> <laughs> New experience. Um, well, first of all, thanks very much for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, I think many of you that are involved in city civic events and all that will be working very aggressively, uh, looking at uh, working with not only quality of life issues, but you know, the, 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 the disorder and the narcotic sales and the violence that has been going on in the Tenderloin for way too long, uh, and really with uh, little support from the entire system. You know, police officers have been making arrests for years. But unfortunately, many of those arrests really haven't gone anywhere. Um, when I first came here, before I was sworn in, I actually had the opportunity to walk around the Tenderloin. I walked through many parts of the city, uh, and you know, was disappointed, I guess is a good term, uh, by you know the level of disorder that was going on in the Tenderloin. People were selling crack right in front of me. And, you know, I mean, obviously they had no idea who I was, and I was dressed like uh, any other business person. But it was just very rampant. Uh, it seemed to me that uh, this is such an incredible city and to just basically give up a piece of real estate that is so valuable for the community, uh, I thought it was unacceptable. At the same time that I was walking around, there were families walking around, young kids, and they were being subjected to, to the same behavior. Uh, so what I did is I, you know, as soon as I uh, came on board, I, I started to make it known that this was an area that we're going to be concentrating on because, you know, no city, but certainly not a city like San Francisco, should be giving away uh, a significant part of their downtown to this level of behavior. Uh, and what we have done is we started, first of all, by I went to the media and I made it known. I said, this area is going to be a priority. Uh, I have talked to a lot of the cops and they basically say, hey, you know, we keep arresting people here, but there really are no results. Uh, so what I did is I went to the Chronicle and I asked, uh, did you allow us to have uh, one of your reporters embedded with our operations here? And what I'd like you to do is, if you see the police doing something wrong, I want you to report it. Uh, but if you see anybody down the line in the criminal justice system that is not doing their job, I also want you to report on that. And then I had meetings with other folks, you know, the DA's office, I talked to the presiding judge and said, you know, we're going to get more aggressive in the tenor rolling. Uh, and we're going to have the media follow some of these cases because we got people here that have been arrested 30, 40 times. We got people that are on probation and parole at the same time, which is, you know, legally impossible, but it was be impossible to make possible here, um, you know, and uh, that has had a tremendous, a tremendous impact. You know, we're, we now have people uh, that have been dealing uh, crack right in front of the school that are now being held in $100,000 bail. Um,